Good noon, please all stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now never shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now never shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now never shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to San Lorenzo Ruiz O God, our loving Father, Your Son Jesus Christ delivered Himself in sacrifice to You for the love of humanity. Inspire us to love You with all our heart to the point of sacrifice. Your providential hand led your servant San Lorenzo Ruiz and companions to the land of Japan to imitate the sacrifice of Christ and to proclaim the gospel of truth and the message of salvation. He beseeches you through the intercession of these holy martyrs that we be given the grace of remaining faithful to you always as they did that the light of the gospel 
illumine all corners of our Christian motherland and of all countries near and far for your greater honor and glory and our sanctification. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. San Lorenzo Ruiz and Companions, pray for us. Salvation to the rest of 
the world His message of compassion to all of humanity His challenge of conversion We are blessed We are loved We are called We are saved
Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the Feast of St. Clare Virgin. Our priest presider is Reverend Father Joachim. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers, we bring on this altar all our mass intentions that have been offered, as well as your personal intentions that you have in this holy Eucharist. And now let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who in your mercy led Saint Clare to a love of poverty, grant through her intercession that following Christ in poverty of spirit, we may merit to contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, the headland of Pisgah, which faces Jericho. And the Lord showed him all the land, Gilead, and as far as Dan, all Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah, as far as the Western Sea, the Negev, the circuit of the Jordan, with the lowlands of Jericho, city of Palms, and as far as Zoar. The Lord said, then said to him, This is the land which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob that I would give to their descendants. I have let you feast your eyes upon it, but you shall not cross over. So there in the land of Moab, Moses, the servant of the Lord, died as the Lord had said, and he was buried in the ravine opposite Beth Peor in the land of Moab. But to this day, no one knows the place of his burial. Moses was 120 years old when he died, yet his eyes were undimmed and his vigor unabated. For thirty days, the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab, till they had completed the period of grief and mourning for Moses. Now Joshua, son of Nun, 
was filled with the spirit of wisdom, since Moses had laid his hands upon him. And so the children of Israel gave him their obedience, thus carrying out the Lord's command to Moses. Since then, no prophet has arisen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. He had no equal in all the signs and wonders. The Lord sent him to perform in the land of Egypt against Pharaoh and all his servants and against all his land. And for the might and the terrifying power that Moses exhibited in the sight of all Israel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Come and see the works of God, His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Bless our God, you peoples, loudly sound His praise. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Hear now, all you who fear God, while I declare what He has done for me. When I appealed to Him in words, Praise was on the tip of my tongue. Blessed be God who filled my soul with fire. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord jesus said to his disciples if your brother sins against you go and tell him his fault between you and him alone if he listens to you you have won over your brother if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, Amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Friends, in the running race, uh, there are competition there are many categories there is a hundred meter individual race then we have the hurdle race and then we have the relay race the relay race is there are several people running now but one holds the baton a small stick runs for some time hands it over to the other and the other takes it and the third one and the fourth one who finishes the race. In this relay race, important is to run your part and hand over the baton to the next person. 
just because you are good in running you cannot go on running along with the others let each one to do, do their part today's first reading is about handing over the baton the stick of responsibility Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo and from there the Lord showed him the promised land now for whatever reason Moses could not enter the promised land whether it is a punishment or it is God's plan for him and Moses dies before he could enter only his eyes could see the promised land and the people of Israel mourned for the loss of uh, Moses and Joshua takes up the baton and accompanies the people to the promised land the example of Moses as we reflect it looks like Moses has done so much you now he helped the people come out of Egypt he fought and everything he spoke to God gave them the Ten Commandments performed so many miracles then why did God did not allow Moses to enter the promised land which were just within his sight this could be our question to God but Moses doesn't question God he submits himself to God's plan reflecting on our own lives brothers and sisters God has a plan for each one of us and that plan has to be fulfilled now after that somebody else has to take over the problem with us is that we want to put our hands everywhere we do not know when to hold the baton and when to hand over it to the others as we grow up in life we have to hand over the baton to our children and the others we cannot keep controlling everything in life there is a time that you hold the baton a responsibility and accomplish your goals but there is a time for you to also hand over the baton and not to put your hands everywhere and control everything that is within your control secondly also we can apply it to our moment of death there is a time for us to live there is a time for us to die and sometimes we know that death is very imminent very near to us and we do everything possible fight with God fight with our family spend everything just to prolong our life for few days or few months only it is also important brothers and sisters to prepare for a good death we not only pray for our recovery and good health but when we know that death is certain and it is a plan of God we have to be prepared to pass on the baton and say Lord let your will be done in my life may the story of Moses inspire us to know when to hold the baton of responsibility and when to let it go when to desire for more life and when to surrender ourselves into God's hands Amen Please all stand. Jesus tells us today, if two of you agree to ask something, it will be granted to you by my Father in heaven. So we pray together and say, may your presence fill us, Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord. that the members of the church may be drawn close together, living in peace and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord, that leaders of nations may respect the rights of every person and avoid repression and atrocities. Let us pray to the Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord, 
that we may have the courage to speak the truth with love and accept criticisms graciously. Let us pray to the Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord, that the sick, the aged, and the housebound may see God's comfort and consolation in the compassion of those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord, that the dead may be cleansed and prepared for eternal unity with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. May your presence fill us, Lord. Let us pray for those who requested our prayers, very especially Reni and Nolita Ngo and family, the sister of Father Siegfried, and many of us who have our own intentions and people who have requested our prayers, let us pray for them. Heavenly Father, with your Son in our midst, we ask you to help us believe in the goodness of each person and be patient with one another as you have been good to us. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, uh, receive, O oh Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant uh, that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may by the example of Saint Clair be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ, for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the Saints, Saint Claire, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co as to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us joyfully share with one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please all kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please all kneel. Protection against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, the Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. Please all stand. Let us pray. 
renewed by partaking of this divine gift we pray o lord our god that by the example of blessed claire bearing in our body the death of jesus we may strive to hold fast to you alone through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit and may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass has been celebrated go in the peace and joy of christ thanks be to god